Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own digital stickers for free. So I do have a video where we walk through the creation process for Canva Pro. It's a little bit more advanced, but here I'm going to show you something that's completely crazy and that proves that you don't really need Canva Pro. For me, it's more comfortable, but for you, if you don't want to buy it, that's fine. Let's do it for free. So basically the main thing why people use Canva is to remove the background of the image so it is trickier if your image so let's say i go to elements photos and then choose some images that i like it is trickier if your image has multiple elements it's better when your image has just a background and it's one thing because then it just removes the image background easier so once you have an image that you've chosen what you can do you just click share download and you download a current file and because we don't have Canva Pro, we're not choosing transparent background. Then we download and then we can go to this website, which is remove.bg and we can just upload the image here. So, and as you can see, that's how it looks like. So you just drop it and then it removes the background for you, which is very convenient. Now for stickers, I would probably prefer to download the size because we want them to be smaller so that people's planners don't lag. So that's it. And another thing I want to show you is that if I select this and I click edit image and I add a paint effect, so let's say this one, it creates a stylized effect immediately. So it immediately looks like a nice sticker. Then I can move it to that website that I just showed you, remove the background and have my sticker ready. That's it. Now, the second part of this that I want to show you is for people that want something a little bit more advanced. And honestly, if you're not planning to pay for Canva anytime soon and you're not planning to buy Photoshop, this is the best program you can get. So it's called Photopea and the beauty of it is that it's free and it's basically Photoshop. The only annoying thing is that you see these ads over here. I'm just going to cover them all up. Um, and that's it. That's basically all that is annoying about this. Everything else is pretty cool. So let's say we go to create a new file and don't be intimidated by this. I do feel like it's a little busy, but just focus on this. So I have the name, I have the pixels, and then for DPI, if you're creating stickers, I would just choose 72. And after that, you click create and you have your page. Now we're going to create a new layer. So we're going to click over here and then we're going to choose brush. So actually you can draw here. If you have an iPad, obviously it's more convenient, but even with your computer, I'm not even using a mouse, as you can see. Um, I mean, you can't see where I put my hands, but I don't not using a mouse and you can still make drawings the way you do it. You click on one at some place, then you hold the shift key and it creates a straight line. Then you hold the shift key again, creates the straight line again. You can hold the shift key again and again. And here I have my shape ready. So now I'm gonna, I'm creating a tag, by the way. I am just gonna change this and color it. It's a little bit slow because I'm doing it on my laptop, but that's it. And then we're gonna do this thing. We're gonna cl uh, click the eraser. By the way, you can change the brush over here and choose the, size and hardness so let's say we're going to reduce the size a little bit and then i'm just going to add it here and now here we have a tag we're going to turn off the background and basically you can download this image already which is crazy we're not going to do that we're going to click again sorry <laughs> now I click again we're going to duplicate this so right click no copy and paste okay Okay, so I needed to do that. Anyways, so we have layer two and then we're going to go to, we can change the colors here or add an overlay, for example. And another thing we can do is we can go to edit image and then go to adjustments and change the colors. Literally, this is the same as Photoshop. So we're going to go to adjustments and we're going to go to hue and saturation. And then basically I can change the color and I can create a hundred stickers if I want to like that very quickly, very easily. Just copy and paste, create a new sticker, go to image adjustments, again, hue saturation, choose a new slider and keep going forward like that. So it's very, very easy to do. 
and you can do even more you can even remove the background so let's say i go to pixels and i download an image so we're gonna go with the coffee theme because someone's obsessed with it uh let's do it like that and then we're gonna choose that cup that i told you so we're gonna download this cup okay and then we're gonna go back and i'm gonna just draw drag and drop wait a little bit computer is thinking if it wants to work at night or not and now we're gonna select this image and we're gonna go to image layer no select background remover here we go now we just wait and voila magic and then what we can do with this is we can actually copy this image again and i can change the color again i go to image adjustments hue saturation and change the color okay that was gross but let's say it's pink and then we're going to remove the saturation a little bit maybe make it a little brighter maybe not that bright and it's a look and another thing is that if you go to filter for example you can add noise so if that's something you can't even do on canva you, canva doesn't let you add noise we're going to click monochromatic and then we're going to add some noise as you can see so Again, even if you're using Canva Pro, I think that this tool is incredibly powerful. If you want me to create a video tutorial on this tool more and show you more possibilities, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.